Well, I think uh, the first perhaps 10 years of my career, it was just testing the waters, doing a whole bunch of stuff, learning a lot of things. Um, I was not born with a golden voice. Um, whatever I've learned is really throughout the years of really hard work because I wasn't really born with a musical background. So it, it took a long time for me to really feel like legit as a musician. Um, I didn't go to any music school. So everything I really picked up from the industry and from going to the studio a lot. And I remember being in the studio for jingles and, and sitting, just hanging out there watching what people do until five, six, seven in the morning where people have to kick me out. Or we would have like eight, nine gigs a week and it's tiring, it's three sets a night, and you're sick, you have a fever, and people will tell me to go home, and I'd be like, no, no, I gotta finish this. The only thing that I've fully committed to, I guess, in my lifetime, that I've really, through thick and thin, um, music has been on my side, and I think 10 years for me was an investment, it was um, really learning the skills. Uh, I stopped singing for a while because I got a bit frustrated, and I, and I wanted to try the, the, the home life for a bit. I kind of went through this lull where nothing was working for me and I was not in a good place. I gathered um, my focus and, and this kind of like the just do it attitude. I got into spirituality, being more motivated and driven. I, I, I was surrounded by, by great people, I let go some of the other not so great people. And I would say this year has been a major shift in my life in every sense of my life. When I came back, I realized it was like a long lost love. You can walk away from music, you can turn your back on music, but a real genuine creative artist, your life will not be fulfilled when you, when you don't have that in your life. I knew this is kind of like my dharma. I need to go back into it. I have unfinished business here. And now that I'm even mentally and emotionally more mature, I can put that in my music and it felt right because this particular competition was kind of like um, um, a milestone and kind of a, va a personal validation that those 10 years that I worked my butt off um, was really worth something. It was for me a very large personal victory. I've done something right no matter the pitfalls and the obstacles and the frustration about certain aspects of the music industry. It was for something very, very significant. Pala. <laughs> Hi, I'm Aliyah Parks and I am inviting you to subscribe to Radio Republic's YouTube channel right there, right now. <laughs>